Hello! Welcome to my first video. We will create an art journal today. Here is my moleskin journal. I am aiming for an emboss resist background, so let's start stamping with Versamarking. This is a butterfly stamp from my stash. Any butterfly stamp will do, but I will link a few options down below for you. After stamping all over the two pages, I am using gold embossing powder to emboss. Don't worry about the mess here, it became quite sticky. Uh, on the page but uh, it's very easy to clean it with a dry clean brush uh, with a fine tip uh, to get rid of all the mess. Now I'm heat setting it. And it looks all gorgeous and shiny. Now to give color to the background I decided to use lovely mini distress inks in various colors. I will list all the colors I used um, at the description area below for you. With this method, the gold emboss won't be affected with all the inks I am putting on top of it, so it will shine through it, uh, but we will have a lovely blended uh, blue and purple colors um, all at the background and gold butterflies flying over it. I am also slowly building the color because when you first put it, it might be a little bit pale but when you keep uh, applying the color, it becomes quite vibrant and nice. And 
lastly I'm making a border with Memento Permanent Ink in dark blue. Also cleaning the ink on the butterflies with a dry paper towel. Now it's time for some texture. I'm using a Kaiser Craft script stamp together with Dina Wakely's night ink pad and um, that you see here to give a bit of texture and movement to the page. Now it's time to move to the focal point. I will use these lovely stamps from Paper Artsy. I will be stamping on a piece of white cardstock as I will stick the flowers on the page for a dimensional look. To color my flowers I'm using silk acrylic glaze for a shiny and transparent color and I use various tones of blues that I will list down below again. Now it's time to cut the flowers. Don't worry if it's not too neat because afterwards we will go around the edges with a black marker which will make them uh, look like as if they are perfect. Stamping the flowers on my page now uh, to know more or less where my flowers need to go.
my flowers on the page i decide now that they need a little bit more color so i continue to color them in at the center uh, with a darker shade of blue edges with a black faber castell marker um, in this way both the white edges won't show and it will look like i cut them perfect i'm folding the flowers for a little bit of a 3d look and I will uh, stick them only at the center for them to pop out of the page uh, and look like they are dimensional. I'm sticking the flowers with matte gel medium and as I said only at the centers for them to have a bit of dimension. complete the flowers I am painting the stems with uh, brown color again with silk acrylic glaze this way I'm not losing the stamped images as well cutting the excess of the flower And now I'm using a gold pearl pen to add gold accents in the middle of the flowers. This way they will look uh, shiny at the middle. It will give a bit of a lighter color at the middle and it will bind the page together because we have gold butterflies at the background. I happen to have this uh, blue ribbon at my stash as well um, and hearts from an old uh, gift pack so couldn't help but adding them uh, I just love adding uh, different uh, embellishments uh, accents to the page uh, so I thought this was a perfect match again sticking them with a matte gel medium So at this point unfortunately I lost the footage because I wasn't following the camera and it stopped uh, working for some reason um, so I'm just going to try to repeat what I did uh, for you. I chose to have uh, chipboard letters to stick on the page uh, for a big bold effect and uh, because of the gold butterflies at the background uh, I wanted to color them in gold as well and I used uh, acrylic paint I didn't use gesso to cover them before because acrylic paint worked quite well and lastly I sprayed some water over the gold acrylic paint and I made some splashes all over the page just to bind the page all together with gold mm -hmm. 
And here's the finished look. I really like how gold shines with all the embossing and painting. Thanks for visiting my channel. Uh, please don't forget to hit the like button down below. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and my blog if you like it. Thanks for visiting.